Okie dokie. So for your project, online learners, you are going to draw or draft yours rather than in half inch scale because that's a little more complicated. We're just going to do one inch scale, which means that one inch is equal to um, one inch is equal to one foot in real life. So on this cutting mat, uh, each one of these squares is equal to one inch. It makes it a really easy, a much easier process. So I am going to try my best to show you how a Broadway flat is built using construction paper. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but I am going to try my best because you guys do not understand, okay? So this is called, this board right here is called a rail. Um, R-A-I-L, rail, okay? For your flat, it is four feet long. One, two, three, four. If each one of these is a foot, then this board would be four feet long. Again, we are using one by three lumber for this. That means that this board, if this were a real life four foot board, it would be three inches this way and then one inch thick. Okay, so it's three inches from here to here, from the top of it to the bottom. So it's laying flat. It's not laying on its side, it's laying flat like this. The reason that we use these little tiny boards, these thin, narrow boards, is because everything in the theater needs to be light and we need to be able to move it quickly on and off the stage. So that's why these are built this way, okay? So if you have a set change, you can pick it up and move it real fast. Those of you who worked on Greece when we had flats built out of two by fours, well, of course, the casters broke and we had too much weight on it. Um, and so through some discovery this summer, I learned that they should have been built out of you know much lighter lumber, okay? So now, Using another one by three, if we were in real life, this would be an actual board, but, and I don't have any squirt bottle glue because I'm a grown up, so I just have glue for projects in this giant bottle. So it takes me a little while, but I want you to understand. So, um, and I'm just gluing it so it stays down. So we wouldn't glue this like, you know, in real life, but this is the style. It is also made out of a one by three piece of lumber, okay? And it is called a style. That's just the name of it, okay? A style. This top one is a rail, okay? So we're gonna have two styles. Now notice, if I had just, now I glued it on paper, but in real life we would just, we wouldn't do that, right? <laughs> so we would just have these boards sitting here, okay? Um, I tried to find enough popsicle sticks to do this with, but I didn't have any at my house. I only had one. So, um, anyway, so I'm just going just to keep it in place, um, so that I can demonstrate how to draw this and how to make and why the cut list is the cut list, why it, why it makes sense. Okay. So... Okay, another style, okay? So now I'm gonna put another rail. So typically, can you see this? Okay, wait, okay. So here's the the, la the bottom rail, okay? But typically we wouldn't glue it down, like I've said that like four times. So in the past, you guys don't listen to my voice. I don't know what you're doing, but you're not listening because you do things like the exact opposite of what I want you to do. And I love you, but you don't listen, okay? So we would not glue this down, so it would just be a loose board, okay? It would just be a loose board. So if I were to pick up these 
one, two, three, four loose boards sitting on the ground, there's nothing to hold them together, right? They would just, they're not put together. They're not, um, they're not fastened together, okay? So that's an important key element of um, this process, okay? So again, I'm just gluing this for demonstration purposes, okay? So this would be a, a four foot, a three, a one by three by four foot board just laid on the ground, okay? Or laid on the work table, okay? So it's right there, okay? And notice how, geez, okay. Notice how um, this joint is here. It's called a butt joint, I believe. And it's just, there's nothing holding these boards together. They're, they're just loose, okay? So that's why we would take this corner block, okay? And we would put it here so that we could hold it together. It's kind of like a piece of tape in essence, okay? So these corner blocks, so this is called a corner block. Corner, obviously it's in the corner block, okay? These are made out of one quarter inch plywood. So they are very, very light. Okay, I hope you can see that. So one quarter inch plywood. So you can't just look at the picture. You have to listen to my voice. One quarter inch plywood corner block. This is a corner block, okay? So the way that we attach that kiddos is literally with wood glue and um, staples. So we use the, um, the pneumatic, the, the pneumatic stapler, um, and there's long, thin staples that are made for fastening wood together and furniture and such. Um, and so the glue is really what holds it together, but, um, we put the staples to hold it while the glue dries. Okie dokie. And if you watched the video, the YouTube video of the man making the uh, Broadway flat, um, then you saw that. You saw him do that. Like he does that on the video. So, um, so you don't want to put your corner block all the way to the edge. You want to put it about an inch to three quarters inch inside of here. So I've left some room there, okay? So you would put a corner block in each corner. So on your cut list, you don't need to worry about putting the instructions of using plywood or staples or glue or any of that. You just need to worry about writing how many corner blocks it is that you need, okay? So I'm going to put the corner blocks in place. So now, if I lift this apparatus, this rectangle made out of these little thin boards up off the floor, after I put my last corner block in place, it in essence is all fastened together, okay? So these corner blocks are what holds the style and the rail together, okay? Cool? All right, now, the problem with this structure, keeping in mind that this is actual lumber, like, you know, lumber that your chair, your wooden chair is made out of, like actual wood, okay? Um, it's just not very structurally sound. So what we have to do is we have to put some toggles in here and we're gonna put them about every two feet. So since this is in one inch scale, so instead of doing half inch like I made the in-person kids do, we're gonna do one inch scale. So from here to here is eight feet, yeah? So we're gonna go up about two feet. One, two. And we are going to mark that spot with our, let me see. Let me this cutting mat that I have here is really convenient because it um, 
helps me to be straight and not crooked. Okay, so I'm gonna go from eight feet, one, two, and I'm gonna make a little mark, okay? I'm gonna put the bottom of it there. So it's about like that. So then I'm gonna go one, two, and about here, okay? And then, so I'm gonna put another one there, and then that takes about, a, how much space does that take? It's about one, two sixteenths of an inch, which would be a quarter inch. So they're about a quarter inch thick. So I'm gonna do, let's see, this is kind of hard for me because I'm mathematically challenged. So, one, two, two and a quarter. So it would be about right here-ish, okay? So I'm not gonna be too um, particular on where these are placed, but like I'm not gonna go in and measure it, but that's where we would place that. And that's where we, would, and this is just for structure. Now, I'm not gluing these down just so that you can kind of see, cause they're not, all curled up like the other ones were pieces of paper. So if I pick this up, if these are not glued down, these are just boards on the floor, on the stage floor, on the shop floor. If I pick this up, these are gonna fall out of there, right? There's nothing holding them to the styles, nothing. So what we have to do is so we have to take these little rectangular pieces that are made out of, again, quarter inch plywood. And the reason they're made out of such thin, thin plywood is so that they remain light, okay? Now let me see. Okay, so that is called a keystone. So this time I didn't glue this down just to show you how it would be, um, how that works. Okay, so we would put wood glue on the back of this and we're going to do that in class. And then we would use the, the air-powered electric mnemonic stapler, power stapler, um, uh, to staple those in place. So those are called keystones. These are called key, K-E-Y-S-T-O-N-E-S, -E -E keystones. And those are made out of one quarter inch plywood okay cool all right let's see if you can see that okay all right um now i am going to add the rest of my keystones on the remaining toggles oh i forgot to tell you this pink thing is called a toggle it's called a toggle they're called toggles you toggle things together so don't you guys use toggles like on your electronics and whatever, you have to toggle it. I don't know if it doesn't fit together appropriately, then you have to get a toggle. Is that my right about that? So this is kind of the same idea. So we're toggling it to the style because it's not fastened on there. See, it's not fastened. So we've got to fasten it with a keystone. So um, we're gonna toggle it together with this t these toggles to this, so it's like an adapter almost. Yeah, maybe, no, not really, I don't know. I'm just trying to relate to you right now because I really want you to understand this and I really, really don't wanna give you chapters in a book to read because that might not be the coolest tech theater class on earth, okay? And honestly, tech theater is so much more fun in person, okay? Um, so there we go, and let's see, one more, uno mas, uno mas, I am going to, so if I had, if I had this eight, four foot by eight foot um, thing, the Broadway flat made out of one by three lumber, I would be stapling, gluing and stapling these toggles on there, and I would glue and staple these corner blocks, yes? Okay. So, um, toggle, toggle, 
rail, rail, can you see me? Rail, style, style. Corner block, corner block, corner block, corner block. Now, I'm going to stop here and then I'll post another video with how to figure out how long to cut these for your cut list. Bye-bye.